So the first question here is, is sex a big deal in relationship? What does that mean? <laughs> it's a big deal in eternity, God self. Is sex a big deal every day? I don't know what you mean. Are you saying that is it right to have sex in relationships? Or is it wrong? Is that the question? Look, what the person wrote. Yes. It's a big deal. I don't know what you mean. It's a, it's a big deal. In other words, it, I don't know what you mean. If what you're saying is that is having sex a big deal in relationships? Yes. Having sex, I mean, in marriage, is a big deal. Yes. Sex itself is a big deal. But it is going to deal with your conscience if you keep having it outside of marriage. And I'm not trying to just sound nice or like a pastor. I'm not your regular pastor, trust me. But I can tell you authoritatively, premarital sex will get you twisted. You would have lost confidence for success. You will be blaming yourself almost all through life, thinking that it is your bad sex issue, even when God has forgiven you. Why trouble yourself? Why not be disciplined from now? I'm telling you sincerely, there's time for everything. This sex, you will have it. You will say, I can't do it again. So why kill yourself? Don't, don't make your life all about sex. Life, sex is a very important part of our lives. But we must not make it become the important part of our lives. If you live for sex, and you're nothing but a prostitute or a dog. That's the truth. And you're not a dog. You're a child of God. Praise the Lord. So you don't want to stay um, thinking, is there the, after all, God will forgive us. Let me tell you, it's true, God will forgive you, but your conscience will deal with you. And the forces of life will attack you. Because they believe that you are wrong. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say here? It's simple. What do I do, pastor, to reduce the sexual intercourse that I have with my spouse or that I'm dating? Avoid secrecy. The power of sexual sin, especially, is in secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? Avoid staying alone in secrecy. There's no way. Since it is part of life that you're attracted to a guy or a guy is attracted to you. If you now stay in enclosed places, you set yourself up on fire and say, fire should not burn. Fire will burn anybody, including the person that lit it. Do you agree? Fire will burn you. So you need to tell yourself the truth. Stop staying in secret places. There's no way. As, even as married husband and wife, you can't be making love with yourselves in public. Am I correct? Yes. So you want to give some distance. Don't be deceiving yourself that nothing is there. If you are going somewhere, stay in a third party. Praise the Lord. Sex drains glory. So I don't know what you mean by I've said that too many times for you to say you need here. Sex, premarital sex drains glory. Put it on TV. Like, believe me, like, don't believe me. It's not my life. That's why the Bible says to avoid fornication, let each man marry his own. Marry. No, I will join you. I will join you. I will join you. Marry on time. It's good. Sir? Yes, sir. Do our job. We do our job to support you. Are you married? Can I hear your amen, please? Shoot, sir. Okay, so the next question says talking to a guy for the first time while approaching. Okay, I think this person meant that um, is it right for a lady? To approach a guy that she likes first. Mama, what do you think? Take the phone on Mama. To approach a guy that you like first. Pastor just said this. I don't think people round up guy on the phone and just walk up and say, I, I like you. Make 
God bless you, man. Thank you very much, man. Yeah? Okay, so the next question here is, how do you ensure that in your sphere of influence, you keep on being the influencer and not falling to pray? pressure? How do you stay being the influencer and, and not I, falling for peer? No, I think the simple principle, you know, being the influencer, it means suggest that like you are the most intelligent person. Not necessarily. Just take it that you are there to influence. If you find other people influencing, Learn from other people. It's just be deliberate. You have something to offer and be willing to give it out sincerely. Don't plan, I'm the influencer here. I'm the, it's not a title. Just go with the attitude of being, you know, visible, being I mean, relevant to your system. And then stay there. Keep learning. Keep learning from others. Keep learning from their wrongs. Keep learning from their rights. And um, you cannot be irrelevant with such behavior. I don't know if that speaks to the question. I think it does. So just stay sincere. Don't, there's no need to say, I'm the influencer here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I have in mind. What I have in mind is that when you are somewhere, be deliberate about it. Okay? And when you see other people with good energy, learn from them. You know, relate, interact, be honest and be authentic about your development. Yeah? Thank you. Well, sir, the, the part of the peer, peer pressure, I don't know how it applies. Maybe help me see it. Oh. Not being peer pressure. I mean, so that the people don't influence you. Yeah, so, they, so they don't become the influence. Oh! Ah! There are many lines in my head that the answer of that question. You must know how to gauge some people's level of influence. See, I said it the other time, that there are some people that are not Christians, but they are very powerful. They are very powerful. There are some ladies... They are more powerful than their fellow ladies. Ah, uh -uh. their spirit alone can influence everything here. Yes, very, you know, the marrow. There are guys also that their spirit is very toxic. Papa, now it just comes in here. It can cause problems here. You know, just talk, talk, talk. And even though you are a good woman, the guy can overwhelm your influence. You must admit, admit that you are not sent to change everybody. When you notice such people with high velocity back down, it's not your battle. When you meet your level, you know your level. Can I hear your amen? I'm telling you how it works. So don't say, ah, believe in me, man. I must bless you one more. So, some people are stronger than you. Before you know what's happening, that guy will be sleeping with that gay lady. I want to bless you for Jesus. He will be fucking you with sex. You will be thinking, ah, what's going on here? I thought I was going to bless you for Jesus. You will not say, oh, Jesus, forgive me. Oh, Jesus, forgive me. But oh, Lord. He will look at you as cheap. Do you understand? Can we talk real here? I don't know why. I don't. When I was growing up as a young pastor, young, I promised myself I would not deceive myself. I promised myself so much so, I told myself if I ever will pastor, I will not deceive myself. Nobody forced me to do what I'm doing. I'm free enough to say I'm not doing it again. I'm telling you the truth. So if you hear me talk like that, I know what I'm saying. It's not today I started. I promise, why would you say that? Go by your way, that's all. Go by your way, that's all. So don't be deceiving yourself uh, using Christianity to package. I want to go and evangelize him and he's dealing with you. I'm only people. Let the Jesus that will come and minister to him come. It's not you. I'm telling you, and it's the same thing, vice versa. Some ladies will come. I told you one that was telling me, spirituality, oh, she gave him She said, let's go, pastor, let's go to fellowship. Now, so fellowship, oh, started to bring out strange behavior. Strange behavior. <laughs> I carried my box. I, if someone was there, I carried my box. I was dashing because I know the, the, the spirit inside this one is stronger than my own. At that time, you know, I ran away. That's why the Bible says, "Flee, flee." Not everything you fight. 
Praise God. I hope that answers your question very well. So, when you see peer pressure, but know the pressure that is coming. If this one is more than you, dash. Don't pose. Don't pretend. Don't feel like you are a super Ted or superhero or uh, Michael Jack, I mean, Superman. You are not Superman now. You are a man. When you see something stronger than you, oh God, I'm coming. And you move. There are some friends you have. If they left you two weeks with that guy, that guy will sleep with you. His spirit is stronger than your own. He will lobby you down. And I know you are a strong person with natural character. But you must know when to dash. This guy, that's what I was saying. Size your level. Oh my, this guy is stronger than you. But the Lord, the Lord bless you. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Move forward. Save yourself the regrets. Most times, you want to do it yourself. The mischief is already in your brain. We leave that to the future. Yeah. All right, sir. So we have here that um, if you're in a relationship and at a point the relationship was going fine, but all of a sudden your guy doesn't have your time again, what do you do? Do you leave the relationship or stay? No, value your value. Evaluate your value with the person. What value were you bringing? Maybe his own values have changed. Maybe he has been influenced by some crazy guy that is doing yahoo yahoo. And his spirit is becoming a cancer to yours. It might not always be your problem. Check if your value is still consistent. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? Be beautiful. Then another thing you must check is continuously upgrade yourself. That's what I was talking about. Evolving. Nobody will come and ring the bell. Bega, bega, change of lesson. No, no, like that. You know, I'm using very simple illustrations so that you can't forget. That guy just finished MBBA. He just finished his second degree. Just got his PhD. He's working in slum pressure. His values are changing. You are still there. Pretty nice girl. NCE from College of Oklahoma Show. Why haven't you upgraded? Why haven't you upgraded? We say destiny is destiny. No matter where it meets us. Oh, don't deceive yourself. Destiny could have been better with a PSC lady in the office. He's saying. He said, he's changing towards, have you upgraded? He said, it doesn't matter. And you're just happy. Uh, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Upgrade, my friend. Go and open books again. I hope I'm not annoying anybody. Go and read. Put some value to yourself. Let him see you ACCA on LinkedIn. Without telling him. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Hello, shall I follow you? Yo, talk to me, when did you do it? Congrats, oh. Ah, when are we seeing the same person that was not looking at you? He will look at your side. Nothing is cast in gold. Everybody is looking for a good future. Anton Aijen. So, upgrade yourself. So, go and sit down there saying that he's no longer looking at you. Upgrade. Upgrade. You see the guy going for one master's, going for another one. You are just there. Put up all. Air and cover. That, that's what you are doing. You can't open your own laptop. Eh? And know what your life is looking like. You say, no, I'm content where I am. You are staying stagnant. You think you are content. So do you get the answer to the question? Don't check your value. Girl, you need to know who you are. That's why this social capital thing is very useful. You are not complete because you have a boyfriend. You are complete regardless of the boyfriend. Have yourself. Move your life. Like I said, it might not be all his problem. It might not also be all your problem. We need to find the point of value. Either somebody moved in value, the other one was refusing to move, or somebody else has changed in value. And he's become a crazy guy. And he wants you to change with him. So yeah, it might not be all casting. But I, I, I confidently say, grow your value. And nobody will disregard you. That's very true. Then also, if you also know what the guy liked about you before, check it out. That thing might still be what he likes. You know? And then also, maybe you have cheapened yourself with sex. Let me just tell you, sisters. I know the guy can still marry you. That's why that is left. But I tell you, inside the mortal man's head, he will still tell himself that under standard temperature and pressure, this girl will yield to the same man that has what I have. Tell you, I argue with your food. I argue with anything. But I'm telling you, yes, under STP, you know what STP is? Under standard temperature and pressure. Do you know what that means? <laughs> uh, I don't know.
know whether this church can you are you ready for your pastor at all if you don't get it forget it <laughs> but now find out what stp is under standard temperature and pressure he will get you so don't be happy that we are making no way just are enjoying adult adulthood before time we are coexisting, we are cohabiting. When will you cook? Is food ready? Sweet art is food ready? <laughs> then you say he's tired. He started a journey before his time. <laughs> Why shouldn't he be tired? He started before his time. He has eaten meal. He has seen what is there. He has seen you in boxers. You have won his big shirt and you are happy. You are feeling like a lover, cooking well. Mumu, your mumu never finish. Seventy year old man. Are you not going to be better? <laughs> Are you not better? We cook him, say hey, he has not finished cooking. Jay Monte Ma tell him in a parry service. Praise God. It's the truth. You can't be doing it, you want big shit. You are saying, ah, because I'll be wife material, I'll be wife, yeah, I'll be wife material. Your mumu does have part two. Praise God. Praise God. So these are the, these are the realities we need to deal with. Don't don't go. Let the guy respect you small. Look and make him want you. There's one film, Mama, I watch, bro. I don't know if I can tell you now. As I will tell you now, you still not watch it. Not, not, if, not if I should tell you, Dari. And those that will listen with this, Mama stumbled on a film. Mama watches Chinese films. And I don't like Chinese films. All those Chinese films. But I stumbled on this one. Eh? <laughs> I, stopped, I stumbled on this one. Okay. The name is Boss and Me. My Boss and Me. Very nice girl. No, it's not about you. This one is better Chinese. So. Ah. It's not cheap. Don't call it. This one is classical. This one is very nice. They're using Bugatti there, Rolls Royce, and that kind of hair. Not all this. Uh, <laughs> so you want to see the character and I'm not saying this absolutely but I'm saying you want to see the character of what makes a man happy watch the film it's very simple boss and me Chinese watch. I know some of you will not still watch if you think you go to hellfire if you watch it's you that know but go and watch it if you have the Holy Ghost in you and see what I'm saying you will see how a lady should behave you don't have to have premarital sex to keep a man's head straight. You know what I just said? Listen, if it ever has happened, let it be a mistake that you don't want to continue in. Not to not believe that it's right. It's my thought and it's my date. No. The way to set it straight is fix a wedding date. If you like it, put a ring on it. Then you will be having test driving, sister, test running things, test running things before you now marry. You now marry, now be suffocating with complexities and imagining people in your head. Sleeping with your wife, but thinking of that, that other girl. Stop it now. I'm telling you the truth, though. Is that all? Yeah, I think we have one final question oh, yeah, here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Do you have to cut off friends that don't have common interests or who don't go to church for rightful associations? So put them in their place. In your life, you should have compartments. There are some plates your mother will keep up. It's the day pastor is coming. Say, bring it down. Am I correct? It's not everywhere. You just put everywhere. There's every plate everywhere. There are some friends you put them in that category. Under the sink. They are beside the toilet. You can use them anywhere. There are some friends you keep them on the dish rack. There are some you keep inside the first level of the upper chamber. There are some you keep inside the chamber. There are some you've not even touched. They are still inside the gift pack. Put value. Censor your relationships. Don't put everybody together at the same level. So some friends are not qualified to talk to you regularly. They are not qualified. Don't say that's the friend I have. Change them. What you don't like, change. If your cloth is torn, do you insist I must wear it? Because that's what I have. You don't do that. You change it up. You are at the airport. Your friend comes. You are going to Benin. Your friend says he's going to Katna. Because you are friends, you now follow him to Katna. Is that how you go? Who 
won't you go to where you are still going to? Let your friend go where he's going to. If he's going to destruction, excuse him. But don't follow him. Don't insist he should be coming around to help you get destroyed. Are we making some sense? So I would just say, put friends in categories. Let them be who they are. Some of them just see them. Ah, it's the day of need. Do you know, I have about four phone numbers of vulcanizers. I only remember them when I need them. That's how some friends should be. Ah, my tire is flat. I have the voice number. That's, that's how some friends should be. That I have your number doesn't mean I'm calling you and saying, yeah, what's going on? I will now put you at the same level with what I put my friend, um, um, Pastor Dr. Chris or Dr. Uh, Timothy. No, I can't put you at the same level though. Once I need you, are you there? Are you available? The Lord bless you. Move on. So that we say you should not cut relationships does not mean you should talk to every relationship. I hope I answered your question. Have we answered all, all these questions came from here? From the audience or from online? Online. Does anybody have any question here? I'll take one. Any question, if you are kind, ask. Anybody with any question? Ah, Daniel. I hope I can answer your question. Oh yeah, ask your question. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy, for these informations we are having every day. That I want to ask, with this information we are having on social capital, and someone is willing to, maybe has been doing it before, or understand what, you, what it takes to have social capital and to use it. And in a particular environment, you find yourself, you meet some people. You've applied what you know is right. And certain set of people don't uh, seem to open up. So what do you do in such a situation? To show these people that your mind is clear and you want to mingle using the social capital. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm going to be very um, straight. And I hope that I speak to the, the concern. One thing you must get in this life is to stop transferring the blame of something you want to other people. Start with that. Understand that that thing excuses you from adulthood. As an adult, the classic definition is that you are responsible. I might not be responsible for this person's behavior, but I'm responsible for how I respond. You must always bother about what is your own responsibility, not how other people are responding to you. Let me give you an illustration. I want to grow a great church. I probably do not have that in mind before now. It is not wisdom for me to be blaming everybody around me, even though they might be the ones who. It's my call. It's my choice. It's what I decide. You must always see the angle of life from your own control. Not from the area you cannot control. Two reasons. Number one, if you do that, you lose control of what you can control. Number two, you become frustrated. So don't empower people with trusting responsibility on them for anything you want. The thing about life is that if you are sure you are doing the principles right, which so many times you are not doing the principles right, you are only doing what you know sincerely right. There is more that you don't know. Please, do you understand what I'm trying to say here? For example, you probably might be trying to interact with people and you are not laughing. I was telling the mama, there's this guy that used to sing a song. You are beautiful. You can't can find out who he is. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are. No, it's not James Bond, though. Okay. <laughs> The guy will be singing beautiful, beautiful, and I never, I never believed him. You know why I didn't believe him? His face. You're beautiful. You're, I, you can't be singing sweetness with a frowning face. You understand what I'm saying here? I will not buy that. I like him, oh, but I will not buy that. I'm simply saying, smile. You do better when you ease off. There is a comportment you are carrying that is making you repel people that you don't know. You are comfortable in that comportment, then you are not making others comfortable. So if you are really honest, yield to everybody's comportment, let them rough
ruffle you. It's part of change. They will reorientate you. Ah, uh, there are people that want to relate with people. You are not an exception. Nobody is victimizing you. It's you to open up. Can I hear your amen? This is very true. To come from the angle of I am responsible, you are expecting people to respond to you in a certain way. That's why you don't know what next to do. But if you yield, the power of my I enjoy this, you know, you flow. It's, it's going to come in and out. By the time they finish flushing you, all the things that should not remain in you would have been flushed out. Then you find yourself interact. Then you don't want to yield. You want to stay comported in who you are. Then you are staying as a block, a force. Don't stop me. And you want to relate. Nobody will relate with you just on your own terms. They will relate with you as you also, it's an interaction. As conversations enter conversations. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? So, break away from the mold of what you have known and just yield. You are not forcing yourself on people. Yield, follow, ask, interact. They will yield up to you as well in no time. Can I hear your amen, please? I hope I'm able to touch your response to your question, but please yield. Everybody wants to interact with somebody. Just yield. Put value on the table. I promise you, people will rush your value as well.